Deontay Wilder returns to the ring October 15th. And to see Deontay Wilder, you're going to have to pay $75 for his fight against Robert Helenis. The last time we seen Wilder, he was knocked out viciously by Fury. And actually, the last two fights we see him in, he's been knocked out. With that being said, Fury fans, to build up the victory Fury has over Wilder, they say he's the second best heavyweight in the world. And Wilder fans believe the same thing. The only heavyweight that can beat Wilder is Tyson Fury. For the longest, Tyson Fury has been saying that Wilder is the second best heavyweight in the world. That is until recently, the bipolar Fury changed his mind and said, Joe Joyce is the second best heavyweight in the world. But before that, for the longest, it was Deontay Wilder. Now, Wilder fight to Lennox October 15th is $75. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think the undercar is that great. And I don't have, I don't view Helenis as a top 10 heavyweight. I don't care if the ranking says. I don't view him as a top heavyweight. And people are trying to tell me this is going to be a great fight. It's not going to be a good fight. It shouldn't be a good fight if you're the number two heavyweight in the world. And they respond by saying, oh, he knocked out Kabanaki. He beat Kabanaki twice. What's that mean? That probably means Kabanaki was overrated. If Wilder is the second best heavyweight in the world, this should be easy work for him. I expect Wilder to finish this fight between four or five rounds. If this is the guy who's going to beat Uzik, Anthony Joshua, Andrew Ruiz, easy work. Bud Crawford spent $75. I get it. Garcia, Tank Davis, $75. I get it. Helenis and Wilder, $75. I don't get that. That's Canelo Bivo money. That's Canelo Triple G money. And this fight is not at that magnitude. But then again, the last couple of pay-per-view fights, Charles Barn, Luis Ortiz, PBC, PBC been trying to rip people off with some bogus fights like that on pay-per-view that should be on TV. But then again, some people will pay for it because they think Wilder is the second best heavyweight in the world. I would never advise anybody to pirate a fight. But I would say get 15 of your friends together and pay $5 each. That is $75. You see, Robert Hernandez has been knocked out twice. Once by Gerald Washington and once by Johnny DeHoppis. And neither one of those guys are a bigger puncher than Deontay Wilder. So October 15th, I expect Hernandez to suffer his third knockout loss. Anyway, what do you think about the price? Wilder vs. Atlantis, $75. Is it worth it with that funky undercard? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.